If I'm going to survive out here and keep watching the wolves, I'm going to have to build a backcountry home where I can weather the freezing nights. This looks like a great spot for a Quincy, a Native American snow shelter designed for use in these light, fluffy snow conditions. Perfect spot. Now for the hard part. I've got to pile snow as high as that probe, but I'm gonna get my crew to help. If you plan to spend some serious time out here, size does matter. Building a dome that I'll be able to stand up inside of is a big job. I've only been at it for a little bit. I'm down almost as tall as I am, and I've got a long ways to go. Just adding the finishing touches. Look at that thing, it is massive. Now that most of the hard work's done, all I gotta do is be patient. The weight of the snow will help compact it, and the crystals of the snow will bond, and then it'll be really firm. Now, the hard work begins. Hollowing out this mountain of snow is a two-man operation. And lucky for me, my cameraman Rick has volunteered to be the mole. So I've got Ricky continuing on the door, and now I'm going to tunnel down all the way through, and actually I'm going to meet up with him. And that way, you can more efficiently hollow out the shelter. Hey, it looks like we're connected. Here we are. This is awesome. That's great. So now that we've connected the tunnels, the next step is we have to cap the top. So I'm tapering and beveling these blocks so they stack perfectly. Last but not least, the final block to the cap. Very essential to retaining heat in our shelter. All right, ready, Rick? Ready. Here we go. Rick's gonna support it from the bottom. How ridiculous is this? We piled all this snow just to crawl in the door and hollow it all out and throw it right back out the front door. The rewards for a job well done more than make up for the effort. Come blizzard or arctic cold front, this shelter will maintain a temperature right around 32 degrees, even if the temperature outside is 40 below zero. <laughs>